Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a one brand tutorial. I am using All Bear Minerals products, mainly their powder mineral products. And this is the look I came up with. It's just a very soft look, perfect for summertime. And yeah, if you guys want to see the Bare Minerals products in action, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face a little bit. As always, I'm going to use the Tarte Brighter Days Highlighting Moisturizer. This stuff is literally great under any type of makeup product. It's such a nice way to prep your face for makeup. So for foundation, I am going to take the Bare Minerals Matte Foundation. Um, this is the powder one, there's an original one and a matte one. And I have the color Golden Fair. So I'm just going to tap some off in the cap. that much and I've seen people put oil in to the powder I've never actually done that before but since my face is pretty dry I'm gonna try it so I put two. use any beauty oil you have and then this is the full flawless face brush so I am just going to get it all on my brush and then Tap off the excess and then just take it in circular motions around my face. I love how this mineral foundation looks so natural. You literally you cannot see it on the face, which is a big deal for a powder foundation because on my skin you can always see powder foundation, but this bare mineral one just literally sinks in and becomes one with your skin. So I'm just going to keep going in circular motions and applying more a little bit at a time until I get the coverage that I want. For concealer, I'm going to use one of my favorites. This is the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. I really like this concealer because it does give you um, really good coverage, but it doesn't look heavy or cakey and it kind of gives you like your eyes a bit of a dewy finish like it doesn't dry down too matte which I like because everything else on the skin is so matte right now that I don't want to add a matte concealer on top of it so I'm just gonna take this in these areas just kind of where I would highlight and I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger the nice thing about this product also is even though we're putting it on top of a powder, it doesn't, um, you know, like bunch up like some stuff would do over a powder. To give the under eyes a little bit more coverage, I'm going to go in with the mineral concealer. I have the color Summer Bisque and this is just a really nice light concealer that you can kind of you can use this on its own too like it does give you pretty nice coverage but I really like layering it on top of concealers that don't have too much coverage I just take a small crease brush and just kind of pat it in where I have most of my under eye darkness so right in this section right here and it just kind of smooths the skin a little bit and gives it a little bit more coverage so I usually don't set my entire face. You guys will know that if you watch any of my videos. Just because I'm so dry, that powder just makes everything look and feel very, very heavy. The only thing that I will ever set my whole face with is this Bare Minerals product. This is their Hydrating Mineral Veil. So it's a setting powder, but it's meant to be hydrating, so it never looks heavy or cakey on the face. It just gives you a really beautiful soft finish and then kind of hydrates your face throughout the day. So I really love using this product to um, lightly set the rest of my face. Also, this is per perfect for summertime when you don't want your makeup going anywhere. 
Another product I really, really love is the Well Rested Powder. This is a brightening powder. It's similar to um, Laura Mercier's Under Eye Brightener. Um, I don't really need it right now, but I'll just put a little bit on just so you guys can see. It just really brightens up the under eye area. Just make sure you go really, really light with this product because if you have too much on, it definitely looks like your under eyes are stark white. And if you want to take pictures and stuff, I don't think you want to use too much of this. But it just really brightens up the area and makes it look really fresh. Okay, so I know I'm looking really pale and ghostly right now. So let's go add a little bit of warmth back into the face. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Bronzer in Warmth. Um, this is a... This bronzer is okay. Um, the color of it is very orange. I Sometimes like it looks very, very orange on me. And it does have quite a bit of shimmer in it. So just make sure when you're using it, you go in a little bit light-handed. If you like more matte bronzers, I would go with one of their other bronzers. This one is definitely more shimmery. So I'm not going to be too precise about this. I just want to add a little bit of warmth back into the face. Just kind of where the sun would touch. So I'm going to do my cheekbones across the nose, up here. It's a beautiful product. You just have to be a little bit careful with it. If you're really heavy-handed, just remind yourself, don't be heavy-handed. But it gives you a beautiful glow. So three of my favorite mineral blushes from the line are Glee which is a really pretty like mauve color. I have Fruit Cocktail, which is a really, really bright pink. And then I have Vintage Peach, which is a shimmery peach color. I don't wanna go too strong with the blush today, so I think I'm just gonna go with Glee, just because the other ones are really, really bright and vibrant. And I want something a little bit more toned down. I'm going to go in with the same brush. This is the uh, Flawless Face Brush, by the way. So again, circle it around. Always tap off the excess. I'm going to lightly just put this on my cheeks. For highlight, I'm going to go in with their Bare Radiance Powder. Um, this is kind of like a bronzy highlight, so I'm going to go pretty light-handed with this. That's what I've been saying for everything, and is that light-handed? This is a darker highlight, so that's why I'm just going to use a fan brush and really, really lightly apply it. I'm not going to be too precise with it, just kind of all over here. Very lightly, I'm going to take that above my brows. So I don't want to put a lot on the eyes. I'm just going to go in with Warmth Bronzer again. And I'm going to put that in my crease. Kind of just throwing that into the crease and then all over the lid. Nothing precise. Also going to take Warmth on a smaller brush and take that under the eyes. So next I'm going to take a flat brush and that Bare Radiance color that we used as a highlight and I am going to put that on the lid. Now if you want this color to look more vibrant you can definitely apply some Fix Press, Fix Plus. I'm just doing a little light wash. I don't want anything too strong. So I'm going to go apply some mascara and lips, and then I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look using all of Bare Minerals products. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe, and come back for the next one. You know the drill.